So what is this? Uh, this is Astro's Playroom. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Um, the hour's rolled over, so we can we can start. Welcome to Astro's Playroom. This experience was created to show you some of the cool tricks, <laughs> if possible, with your DualSense wireless controller. Hey, Fluffnir. Wouldn't be a celebration of PlayStation be Knack 2? No, it wouldn't. Shut up. That game doesn't exist. It's not real. Ready to join Astro for an adventure inside your PS5? Then let's dive in, okay? Here we go. So this part's super cool, and you guys won't be able to experience it, but I promise you, it's both cool. I remember that. I remember, I remember that. I remember that. I, I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. Wow. All right, that's it. Game's over. We did it. That was PlayStation. Okay, I can feel... I can feel the blocks stacking in my hand. They didn't show the PSP go. <laughs> It's in there, don't worry. So we got adaptive triggers. They, uh... There's resistance. Isn't that neat? And there's a touchpad. You know, you can, uh... You can write whatever you want in there. That's fun. I'm not an artist. I felt all those little guys in there. Oh! Oh, I feel them having a tumble. I can feel them tumbling through the controller. Delightful. <laughs> so there's that. Hey, we can go now. I thought I was gonna write penis. What do you take me for? And drift in the sticks. I, I've been taking really good care of this controller, so hopefully there will be no uh, drifts. If there will be any, I'll destroy them. With my gauntlet. Okay, we're inside the PlayStation 5 now. Don't be alarmed. This is perfectly normal. Okay. You're right, I shouldn't have to. I should be able to stick this entire controller up my butt and it doesn't drift when I when I rip it out. That's fact. You're right. No, you're absolutely right. I agree with you, Pitmini. I agree. I should be able to do that. Pip Mimi came up with a great point just then. <laughs> About how I should be able to shove this controller in my butt. Pip Mimi gets all the credit for that one. Okay, it goes without saying, I can feel all of this on the controller. Little tink tinks of walking on metal. Little lasers and stuff. They should make Sony fuck toys. I mean, they do already. What, what do you think the PlayStation Move is? Oh yeah, we're basically playing Dreams again. There we go. We've unlocked a little dude. He's just a fella. Wow! Look at these color-coded monoliths popping up all over the space. That's what's up. Now, as usual, this is not going to be a 100% playthrough. Although I do have a 100% save file, so I'll, I'll show that off. Just, you know, just steep ourselves in the PlayStation nostalgia. Uh, only that reason, no other reason. The damage of the merch. He cleans it up. Punch the box. Punches back. <laughs> I have a 100% file? Ridic I know! Who would have thought? Who could have pieced that together with such little information? I don't know. Probably a detective. Probably the greatest detective of our time. So, you know, there's there's stuff to find in, in the hub. Which is what, what we're doing right now. We're in the hub, collecting some coins. Doing, doing what have you. Hey there, Neon Doll. We're playing Astro's Playroom right now. Francis York Morgan. I, I don't think there is a Deadly Premonition reference in this game. Um, but there are lots of... Um, there are a lot of references. The pulling of the wires is uncomfortable. What does it remind you of? We're going to be doing it a lot. Alright, 
we're gonna start an actual level soon, but I have to show you guys some stuff first. It's all important business. <laughs> Pulling off PPs. <laughs> when in your normal life are you doing that? You know what? Don't don't ask. Don't don't answer. Don't ask to answer. It reminds you of the Judgment 2 box art? I'm down for Judgment 2. Did you know that? Did you know I'm about it? Okay, all that for a puzzle. Card. We got one. Wait, wait, there's another one over there, though. I want that one. Let me get that one real quick. You got a goddamn week? I believe you. Ah, uh, well, forget it. That puzzle piece isn't that important anyway. Alright, so where do we want to go first? Do we want to go into the cooling springs? Or the, uh, no, you know what? Let's go here first. The GPU jungle. This seems appropriate. We're just going to have ourselves a bit of a, a bit of a job. Also, I made a promise. How do I, uh... Oh, shit. I don't think this game has, like, volume options. <laughs> oh no! Hmm. Are we already there? Wow. Look at that. Jeffrey contributed 2,000. D-Kitty in with a whopping 20k. Pip Mimi with a whopping 16k. Neon Doll with a whop-ish. 6,000? You guys are nuts. Was that the song release? Yeah, yeah. That was for me singing about Dragon Ball Z to Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball. Hang on a second. Yeah, this game has no sound options, so it's gonna it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be kind of heavy over me, I guess. But that's fine. I'll live with it. Let's go ahead. Rabbits. It's fine. Okay. So we got to keep an eye out for these little scenes, right? We have to discover what reference they could possibly be making. I think this one is just an Astrobot enjoying uh, the square button. Uh, we probably don't have to think too hard about that one. But right here, it looks like we've got Horizon Zero Dawn. You know? We made 30 plus egg omelet today for the chickens. That's fantastic. Because someone forgot to refill the chicken bucket. Just don't tell them where it came from. And what we got over here? What's this? Is this really just Jurassic Park? Like, there must be other dinosaur related games. A v that's not a VR game. I don't know. Wait, maybe this little thing here is a, is a hint. Is it dreams? I've got no idea. I don't get this reference. I apologize. I'm not going to understand all of them, but hopefully you guys will. You know, maybe as a team we can, we can figure out what everything is supposed to be. Hey there, Chibi UFO. Welcome into the stream. We're just enjoying PlayStation with some Astro's Playroom. Like I, I mentioned a moment ago, down there we have a recreation of Horizon Zero Dawn. And so uh, now we're going to try and find our way to some more references. That guy out of there. Hey, Prime Sonic. Welcome to the stream as well. It looks like we've got ourselves... Get out of my face. Stop. Get some help. We've got some Bloodborne here. Look at that. Well, that's fantastic. You can't stay long, but you have your appointment to get your COVID back. Is it number one or number two? Well, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be Mario Odyssey. It's very awkward. Can't be celebrating Nintendo while celebrating Sony. Number one? Fantastic. Good going. Uh, I had mine, mine a couple weeks back, and, uh, oh, these are triggers. And, uh, it wasn't too bad at all. I, in fact, the guy who did it to me was so good, I didn't even feel it. Alright, what do we got in here? What are you supposed to be? You got mushrooms on your head. Oh, it's The Last of Us. Look at that. There's, there's, uh, there's Joel with a brick. There's little, little mushrooms. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, Pip Nini with the uh, with the four month sub with Prime. Ooh, 
That's the good stuff. Get those those Bezos coins. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the Pee Pee Poo Poo Squad. That's a working title. Your seat is warm. I've kept it warm by just having like a cup of coffee on it. I just, I've just laid, I've laid it there. How do I, uh, how do I, how do I get in there? How do I, uh, I think I missed my thing. What did you kitty do? You're all immuned up? That is definitely worth celebrating. Did you have some of that omelet? You should. You should have some of it. How do I take my coffee? Um, I'm a baby. I, I can't play platforms. I, I have to stop the stream. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> How do I take my coffee? Uh, I like two milk, two sugar. You know? Sometimes I'll do one milk, one sugar if I really want to, like, embrace the bitterness. But that's about, as, that's about as wild as I'm willing to go. Okay, can we make this? I really want to. But it doesn't seem like we can just yet, so I guess I'm just going to have to let that dream die. Uh, it probably is possible, and I'm just very bad at game. I understand that. Probably better than most. Double double is superior. I'm glad I'm not alone on this. Yeah, so that's what we call two milk, two sugar in, in the canade. <laughs> I'm bad at game. Stop. Stop saying the words. I'm not done exploring, actually. I'd like to look more at stuff. If I could. The dream isn't dead. It's just sleeping. For a second, I thought that said the dream isn't dead, it's just shipping, and I was about to lose my actual mind. Because that is the pain. That is the pain I'm feeling right now. Okay, let's see if we can't, uh... Let's see if we can't platform our, platform our way through this. Okay, here it goes. Okay. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. You should sue. The same thing happened to me. Before I was Pale Voyager, I was Rakette. And apparently there's a character in Jade Cocoon by that name. And so for years, uh, people were like, Hey, you, you play Jade Cocoon? And I had, but not before my name. So, big sues. What do we got here? Is this, is this some Nathan Drake I see? Well, there's a crashed aeroplane. That's definitely looking like Nathan Drake. And my character can't be still for even a second without playing a video game. I know the feeling. I'm the same way. I'm the same person. What do you got over here with the wing person? What does that mean? I don't know. Too vague. Much too vague. At least it's not my actual name. Yeah, that is true. If my actual name were Rakesh, I would uh, I would also sue. What we got here? Is this Patapon? It looks like Patapon. Seems like Patapon to me. Oh, crumbs. No, we don't want to do that. We're not trying to get those on us. Pata, 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 pom. I've only played the first one, but I have the other two. Oh hey, shoot, this guy, he's serious. Child fetching? Alright, well good luck out there. What are these? Fucking pine cones. Musical pine cones. I'm sure that's from something also that I just, I don't, I don't get it. You may not know this about me, but I don't know absolutely everything there is to know about video games. Only most. Only most of what's there to know. We got a PS Vita game. Aw, oh, I'm in the way. Hang on. Yeah, it happens. At least once a game it happens. No, hang on. There we go. I'll be down here. No, I said down. <laughs> Why do you embarrass me this way? Play Stony? Alright, cool. Why go disc when you can go cart? You loved your Vita? Me too, honestly. I really like the Vita also. So it's an unsung hero. You've never wondered why I catch your eye. It's cause you overlook all the choices I took. I spend all my time deceiving and misleading you. I like to surprise with my virtual lies. I synthesize 
and rasterize immaterial things that I fabricate for you. For you. These are song lyrics. Yes, I tessellate and animate these dancing sprites and sunlit skies for you. I do it for you. I'm your GPU. Yeah, I'm your GPU. Tell me what to do and I'll do it for you. GPU, tell me what to do. Yes, I do it all for you. That's why I spicy. That's too much spice for one man. Game carts have more in common with RAM modules than they do with SD cards? That's cool. I did not know that. Why don't you tell me about that? What's, what's the story there? What's the story there? Is this Days Gone? That's Days Gone up there. Yeah, we saw some Days Gone. Well, oh, that's fantastic. We love that for us. We made it for the we made it for the teraflop treetops. We're now we return to Monkey. Run animation, it's how you run to the fridge. Welcome to the stream, Sun Slytherin. Game carts expand the memory space of the console. Ooh. <laughs> Hold on, I know this. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do some motions. Okay. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, I check this out, guys. Can I put the mic a little closer to my mouth? Yes, I can. How's that? Is that fixing things? I never really considered it as an option. So I, I don't want my piece to pop. They want to, want that. They want me to exercise them wrists. My wrists are strong as hell. They look like they'd snap under the slightest amount of pressure. Wait, <clears throat> there we go. But they're actually thickums. With storage media like disks and flash memory, the console has to request data out of it over a protocol rather than, rather than direct memory access. That's dope. <laughs> yeah, I don't skip wrist day. But that's basically what gaming is, right? Not skipping wrist day. There we go. We got ourselves a, uh, a secret of some kind. I'll be honest, Monkey isn't my favorite one. But it's, it's not bad. It'll do. That's why game carts have zero load times. That is really cool. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead over here with this part. I feel like there's more to do over there, though. Hello? I guess we'll find out later. That's a really cool fact. You got here, but monkey is cute. You just like animals. Uh, I'm not. I'm not against you on this. I like animals too. I think any opportunity to become monkey is a good opportunity. I just think there are cooler, uh, cooler power-ups in this game, that's all. Apart from birds. I'm swinging quite well. Well, you know, it's a... It's a... <laughs> it's a skill. There we go. Hold on, I got this. Come here. Swangin'. And there's another one. What's this then? We got a PlayStation DualShock 4 wireless controller. Legend has it, little robots live inside it. That's an Astrobots reference. You're pro all animals but fish, even bird and deer. I don't know if that makes you a stream enemy. It doesn't make you a stream enemy, but you're on thin ice. Big Hero 6. Hold on. Eh. No, wait. I need you. Wait, hold up. There we go. I, I know how to play game. That's fine. Now we can go over here. Easy mode. There we go. That's enough monkey. Too much monkey business and no work makes uh, something. Ninja bots. What is this? <laughs> what is this actually though? What are they actually playing? Does anyone know what this one? We're not at a hotel, not yet. Not a bad attitude. How am I meant to get that now? Maybe I can jump on their game. There you go. <laughs> now you're thinking with portals.
discount wiggler over there. Okay, what do we got here? What's this one? I'm sure this is a reference also, but we already saw Uncharted, so what would this one be? I don't know. It's weird. Now I'm thinking with jump for the first time in my life. You've just been playing Pokemon for a week and, and a half. I don't know about anything else at the moment. I've been doing that with, uh, with Persona 5. Persona 5 Royal. I, I'm finally, I think it's like the last couple days in the game. So, I've been playing that game for over a month. It's, it's stupid long. We got the PSVR processor unit. Nobody really knows what goes on in there. Me neither, because I've never played uh, PSVR. You know? Sword and Shield is, is pretty good. I've played gooder, but it's really nice seeing all the Pokemans and uh, Switch HD. Now, what's this one? I feel, I feel like I know this one. I know this one. What the heck is this one? Huh. Got a mustache. Is that a clue? Does anyone have any idea what this guy is? Is it Fallout? I don't know. Is that Iron Giant back there? No, that's Shadow of the Colossus. See, this one I know. That one's Shadow of the Colossus over there. That's fun. Oh, hello. Big boy. He's a big boy. These platforms break when you laser them. Just so you know. I I'm never going to fall for it, but I just figured you guys might be interested. Oh, we got wind. The GPU fan is going overdrive. What's over here? What's that one back there? I believe that's Eco. Right? No. Is it? Who are you? It's looking kind of like it might be Eco. I don't know. I lost a couple of your Pokemon game cartridges and was so upset that I haven't played since. My copy of Pokemon Gold on the original Game Boy <clears throat> got stolen. I left it in the car one time. And then my mom took the car to the car wash. Or to, not the car wash, to get the inside of the car cleaned. And uh, then when we got it back, my copy was no longer there. Take that. That's awful. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me also that awful. Um, you know, so when Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold came out, Normally I would have gotten Soul Silver, but I felt like it was like necessary for me to get gold again. Maybe they threw it out. What is this garbage? Oh, that's worse. That's worse if they just tossed it. I don't like that. I don't like that fanfic of what happened. Okay. We've got enemies that we can shoot with a bone arrow now. A bone arrow. The most thi oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I guess getting raffle stomped uh, is a mistake you only get to make once. No one told me. No one told me this is what they were going to do. I was just out here trying to mind my own. Can I not shoot people in peace? You cracked out your 3DS to get Ultra Moon Sun again and committed to the ones I slept out due to school. Um, Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun are actually really good. Like, people kind of poop on the it's-the-same-game-again ones. Like, not the middle childs, right? But, like, the white 2 and black 2, Ultra Moon, Ultra Sun. Because you kind of are just playing through the game again, but with slight changes. Um, I think the changes to Sun and Moon were really good changes. Like, better than average. Is this, uh, is this even doing any damage? Or, uh... You don't really hate any of them. Oh. You're just here for the cute animals. I mean, that is, like, most of the fun of Pokemon. There's a sto I mean, they, they've been recently trying to have a story. You know? Like, uh... As of Generation 5, they were like, Hey, maybe we should focus on a plot or something. But it's totally fine to just not even pay attention. Because it doesn't really amount to much. The, the main... <laughs> the kidnapping was a success. I mean, the main part of Pokemon is the kidnapping. That's, that's the fun bit. 
You need plot in your Pokemon games like you need plot in your porn? Exactly. We all know why we're here. Is that a Tekken? Are we Tekkening right now? I think we're Tekkening. I care about plot in a lot of things, but Pokemon games are not one of them. No, sir. Alright, it's time to monkey again. Oh, shoot, and I missed this eight minutes ago. J-Bond the Stick subscribed at six months. Hot Potato, thanks a lot. Welcome back once again to the Pee Pee Poo Poo Squad. That's a working title. Uh, I kept your seat warm this whole time, so you won't even notice that you weren't subscribed for a whole, like, what, a, a day? <laughs> a few minutes? You won't notice. How I kept it warm is a, is a, held, is a closely held secret. Industry secret that I can't just go around admitting in public. A huge bonus. There we go. Look at that. With aplomb. That's a word that I would use to describe my skills. Aplomb. There we go. Can I climb down? Uh, no, but I can fall and then grab stuff. That's kind of the the sacrifice. That's the conceit. I missed a coin. Eh, that's fine. I'm gonna miss a lot of coins. This is not a 100% playthrough. Oh, shit. Mind your own business. Pale missing shit. Yeah. Missing shit is my middle name. I thought my middle name was Struggle Bus West. Am I now Pale Missing Shit Struggle Bus West Voyager? Because I can be. At a low, low price of 99 99 99 <laughs> Yeah! Smooth. Smooth like butter. You're gonna have more names than most monarchies? I'm not against it. As long as nothing weird happens to my chin through decades of incest, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Available only at Styles Upon Styles. Oh baby, we got the PSVR aim controller. Is this thing real? That's actually something that was made? This, <laughs> this uh, I don't know. I don't know about it. It looks, the word chintzy comes to mind. Okay, stop gripping it for dear life. It looks like a mistake. <laughs> it looks like someone in a boardroom was like, Oh. Fudge. Fudge. It looks like someone in a boardroom had one last chance, and this was the best they could do. Hey, Papa Beatloaf, welcome to the stream. I was not shit-talking this game just a moment ago. I was shit-talking uh, the PSVR zapper <laughs> or whatever. But happy to have you here, nonetheless. We are Monkey right now in Astro's Playroom. Too bad, I don't care. I... Which, which way? Okay, there we go. I'm good at climbing. Never played any VR games, you don't have room to swing around? Um, it's just too expensive, and also I don't have room to swing around. Oh, hello. There's rabbits. What do we got here? Is this some journey that I'm looking at? It, it's looking like journey. We got journey. Ladies and gentlemen, journey. I don't think that's a reference to anything. You were free you refuse to break your TV over a VR by accident. Yeah, and no, I mean that's like a real thing too. Uh, I wouldn't want that to happen to me either. It's time to go hunting. Get those bunners. One. Two. Three. I think there's eight in total? Not one hundo on it. No. Oh, there we go. There's a bunch. Your cat did throw up. Your cat did throw your old TV on you. Was not impressed. That happened? I've seen videos of that happening to people, but I didn't know it happened in real life, too. That's spicy. Resident Evil Village looking less cool than I thought. What do you mean? This is, this is it. Is this not what you paid for? 
Is this not what you've been waiting for? Uh, we got a big coin out of it. That doesn't really seem like it was worth it. That's okay. One of your cats is the typical let's throw everything cat. Boo. So they're playing Monster Escape. I don't think that's a real game either. Oh shit. Don't worry about that guys, it'll grow back. As long as Dami Mommy is still here, you guess it's fine? Well she might be in, in the next area. We don't know for sure. I'll bet these sticks drift like crazy. Left out in the snow. Shameful. We got ourselves a PS4 out of it. Just what I always wanted. Promised greatness, delivered more. Is that true? PS4 owners, do you, do you agree with that assessment? I agree with that statement. I think it's true. They stole that from Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> I mean, everybody copies Nintendo. Nintendo is like the Simpsons of video games, you know? You watch the actress do the mocap for Dami Mommy. It was good for research. I'll bet. I'll bet. It's the kind of research that requires lotion. And, uh, the house to yourself. Hey, SpiderMonk92. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing this day? I don't know if it's evening for you, but... This here is the, um, this is the vault, essentially. I don't know what it's actually called. Hang on. The PlayStation Labo. Like I said, they, st they steal everything from Nintendo. This is where all of your puzzle pieces and your accomplishments go. When you find artifacts out in the world, they, they end up here. And eventually this whole place will be filled with PlayStation paraphernalia and propaganda. Am I going to get some kinds to die? I might. Just trying to do the fight to die. Welcome to the stream, Gotti. Oh, we got free coins and everything. You had a dream about Lady Dimitris? What did she do to you? <laughs> what did she what did she do on top of you in, in the in the dream? You love playing this and enjoyed using your PS5? Yeah, dude. That's what I'm here for. Ah, spaghetti! All right. Crush this shit in my hand. What do we got? We have the PSP GPS receiver. Did anyone have one of these? I don't think a single person. I don't think one human. Belly out like yes, the shit. My dream last night was just my brother stealing money from me. My dream was that I went to outer space and they gave me like a bunch of syringes full of like health up and stamina up and then they also just stuck a needle in my forehead because reasons and it had like an orange liquid inside of it. All right, so we got a little diorama. Those are a reasonable prize. It lies like an Italian stereotype, but it's like, ah! Yeah, I'm not going to go any further with that. <laughs> ah, that's my Italian impression. Hi, I'm Pale Void. You're welcome. Uh, we got the PlayStation 4, but it's uh, uh, the slim model, I suppose. I, I didn't know there was one, but I guess there is one. This is like the card crusher meme. Got more puzzle piece. More puzzle piece. More PS4 love. We're, we're really jockeying the PS4 right now. I'd like it if we moved on to loving another system. There's that dinosaur again. What is the dinosaur from? I don't know. It's like one of the references I couldn't get. Wow, you guys just went crazy. Uh, he's Italian. He speaks fluent Japanese. Hold on. I got to... What, what's, what's happening here? Blue, blue Japanese. Pale is truly a man of the world. Thank you for noticing. I wish I could pull a whole ass system out of a claw machine. Well, do it. Stop complaining about it and just do it. You enjoyed Returnal. The next game I'm waiting for is a few games. My backlog is so massive that I haven't even gotten to play any of my PS5 games yet. Uh, let's see. Um, PS4 is the White Stormtrooper one, and I don't care about Star Wars. Uh, I think I got the Destiny one, like the first one. It's just Arctic White. Dino Boy is cute. What game is this? This is Astro's Playroom. It's basically just like a, a PS5 tech demo for the controller while also celebrating 25 years of PlayStation history. You got the, the PSP microphone, also something that no one got. You played Demon Souls as the PS3 game? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I played with the HD texture pack. More puzzles. Oh, we're out. We're finally out. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, and that's, that's populated the room up a little bit. His PS4 needs to be taken out back and shot like old Yeller. Mine does? No way. 
I love my PS4. It's currently chilling out on a bed right now, unplugged, enjoying its retirement. Hello, D Kitty, and hello, child, to the both of yous. So yeah, the place has moved out a little bit. Uh, I believe this is Beyond Two Souls. Pale Station 5, if only. Can you imagine loading the game up and it's just me? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to PlayStation 5. You have two games to play. All right, bye. Only $999, yeah. He went through his room to play on his Kindle. That's fine. Maybe he's secretly checking out the stream and he doesn't want you to know. All right, we've unlocked the triangle section of this mysterious cube. Clean out the PS4 fan before you leave. <laughs> I've reached new heights. New speedrun challenges are now available from CPU Plaza. I'll do those later. Both of them are Dynamite Heady. <laughs> ah, yes, the PlayStation 5 remake of Dynamite Heady. Do you, what do you use? Compressed air? Do you just, like, take a deep breath? Took you this long to figure out what the riff was in the song that was playing in the last stage? What was the riff? I probably know already, but I don't remember. You suck it up like Kirby? You become a, a cat hair monster? Well, we're on the beach now. That's fun. It was quoting a melody from Sky Chase Zone in Sonic 2. Oh, cool. I guess that's allowed. I guess that's technically legal. SGF says his PS4 sounds like a plane taking off. Yeah, it will do. It will do after a time. I don't think mine does. It, it does depending on the game. Like Metal Gear Solid 5, for whatever reason, when you're in the helicopter selecting a mission, that's when it sounds like the PS4 is actually a helicopter. Wow. Sexy roast chicken. We're so hitting the beach when we visit CA. Do it. Punch the beach, actually. I don't get this reference. What reference is this? Do we know what this reference is? I don't know. It's something. I'm not gonna catch them all. I'm not magic. Is that a reference to Slime Rancher? It might be. Was it Poyo Poyo? Oh, we got Dual Shock 3 this time. Can you say six axis fast ten times? I couldn't even say it once. Six axis, six axis, six, nope, I can't. Three times. Too hard. Too hard to do. If I weren't on stream, I could say it 20 times in a row. Easy. This is a Poyo Poyo reference? Alright, dope. Good eye, mate. What we got here? Some exercise thing? I don't know. People exercise. I'm sure that's real. Never been to the beach either. Alberta's a dumpster fire with nothing. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, shit. There are some nice places in uh, in Edmonton. You know, some beaches and lakes that are decent. But yeah, I think you kind of have to kind of have to leave the prairie if you want to go to a good beach. You're back. You're planning a Eurovision party. Cool. Do you need like special glasses for that? <laughs> it's alright, I'm here for another two hours, don't worry. I can swim here? Um, mm, yeah, okay, I'll swim. I haven't done it in like ten years, but what could possibly go wrong? You know? If I drown on your watch, it would be so funny. A lot of non-Europeans don't know the joy of Eurovision. Is it, uh... Is it music? <laughs> the PSI toy. The eye camera. I don't have that. I don't have that one. I missed out. It's a song contest. That's what I thought. That, that was my first guess. Alright, I'm hanging ten, bro. This is very fun. Let's see what else we got over here. I ain't no toy. 
I believe this is Concrete Genie. I think that's the reference we're looking at right here. Concrete Genie. Um, I have it. I have not played it yet. So if you guys want me to stream that at some point, gotta go to the Game Suggestions channel on the Discord. These two are just uh, pumping away. Unite Europe after the war, we set up the contest. Oh, cool. History. How does a robot swim without shorting out? Uh, did you not see the inner tube? Hello? Like, duh. Conquers bad vagina. <laughs> I love that game. Alright, so what's, uh, what's happening over here? I'm mostly just in it for the references. What do we got? Um, Fat Princess? Fat Princess. That's a Fat Princess reference. Where's Spyro? I'm sure we'll come across Spyro sooner than later. You know, it's also possible that we already missed it, but... I'm doing my best. Doing my best to look around. See what is there to see. Spyro is your favorite dragon? Is he not also your favorite bandicoot, though? Crackadilly Blit. Just solving all my problems with violence out here. My duckies are having a swim in their pond. That's adorable. Alright, not quite a monkey this time, but... It's a frog? It's a springing frog. Never played Bandicoot? Got into Spyro and Banjo instead? I got into Banjo. I never played uh, Spyro or Crash Bandicoot until I was older. Um, I actually played the first three Spyro games in their remastered, their reignited form for the first time last year. I thought so. And uh, Crash Bandicoot's one of those games that's like, shit. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot's one of those games that uh, uses uh, artificial difficulty. So like it starts, well it's not artificial difficulty, it's adaptive difficulty. So the game starts out really hard, and the more you die, the easier it gets without actually telling you or showing you in any real way that it's getting progressively easier the more you fail, which makes you feel like you're just getting better at the game. You know? And uh, there's actually a lot of games that do this. Resident Evil 4 is one such game. Actually a lot of the Resident Evil games do this. Uh, the Resident Evil 2 Remake. What's going on in here? Okay. So, what do we got? What is this one? The PS Move Sharpshooter. See, this looks way cooler than the PSVR gun. It, it still looks like a piece of crap. But it looks way better. Thank you for linking to Discord, Pip Mimi. You are a Pip. And a Mimi. Real proud dad, real proud dad, Skennedy. We love Skennedy in this stream. Yeah, in the uh, in Resident Evil 2 Remake, the better you do, the uh, the harder everything gets. So enemies do more damage. Um, the AI is smarter, so they dodge your bullets more often. Uh, I think additional enemies spawn once you've uh, hit, hit certain difficulty milestones. And then when you die a lot, the opposite happens. Oh my god. <laughs> Probably just need to chill out a little bit. Chill out on the boing. There we go. All it took was having a little bit of patience. Alright, what do we got? Shortcut? No, we're just uh, moving on with the stage. We're moving on with the stage. Mom Canary is named Love and Dad is named Radar. I don't know the name for the babies yet. That's adorable. Oh, hey, we got some Metal Gear Solid here. Got a little bit of it. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, solid state. As if it as if the reference didn't need to be more opaque. Resident Evil 4 has world tendency. <laughs> it does, yeah. No, but no, it's just a phenomenon. I think Bioshock does it too. Like a lot of games will do this where the game will get easier the worse you're doing. And a little not necessarily harder the better you're doing, but definitely easier the worse you're doing. Uh, in Bioshock Infinite. Anytime an enemy shoots you, they are programmed to miss the first shot, giving you a chance to react to their presence. Bet you didn't know that one. 
Yeah, boy. Hey, Valus. In HD. Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. Prime Sonic did know that one. Well, you're you're some kind of a genius. You know about carts and discs, which is like evil witchcraft science. Got penguins. Yeah, this guy loving a little too much on an igloo. In HD. No, I noticed a while ago. I just didn't acknowledge it because I don't want to like I don't want you to get too much confidence. Alright, so what do we got here? Is this something? It looks like it's a lot of things at once. What is this? What's going on here? Until Oh yeah, yeah, until dawn. Okay, yeah, good, 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 good. Right, the butterfly. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, this is until dawn. Good looking out. My guy is not having the weather. He's really not. Apparently, uh, an inner tube will not protect this time. Not only did I get wrecked, I got riggedy wrecked. That's the worst kind. The worst kind of wreck. We got penguins. This dude's building a snowman. I just ruined it. I'm sorry, little guy. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to do that. What kind of eldritch monstrosity am I making possible here? Oh, bot charted. We got a PS3 game disc. Perfect blue. Wow, they, they packed a lot of references into this one. Stop canceling me for one second. For once in your lives. I've said worse. <laughs> no. Oh. Almost got docked on. I think we already saw Uncharted in the last stage, but they might they might reference it multiple times. There's been more than one Uncharted game. Uncancel Pale 2021. Yeah, that's more like it. Uncancel me, damn it. I serve my dime. I don't need this. This ish. They just did with the disc? Oh, okay, cool. Well, I'm cancelled again. That didn't even last five minutes this time. What's a boy to do? When you eat the right food in Monster Hunter, you get the uncarded ability. <laughs> is that true? Wait, is it just going? I didn't even do anything. <laughs> I didn't even get to. I was gonna do like a... Like a non-committal exhale into the microphone, and uh... It just automatically went. Maybe it'll go faster. Yeah. <laughs> nope. I had my chance. I had my chance and I lost it. I three shot. <laughs> this is, uh... This is bullying right now. You guys are doing me an unkindness. Hmm. What is this? Is this, uh, Resident Evil? Is that what, is that what I'm looking at here? Is this President Evil? Well, it must be. Look, there's a lab back here. Control, drink my water? Okay. Oh, Neon Doll redeemed. Control? I gotta do it. I, I have no control over the matter. Ah, refreshing and tasteless. Just the way I like it. Bots it into evil. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You know what's up. What about down here? What is this, uh... Who are you? Who are you supposed to be down here? Must be a VR game, because they're wearing VR helmets. Is this Subnautica? I don't know. Ah, it's too difficult for me. My brain... It's not big enough. You're gonna get a drink also? Sweet. Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. You know the PlayStation game Echo the Dolphin. Always a favorite. It's my favorite dolphin game with a horrible dark history behind it, or that it's referencing. The hit PS VR game, the PS4 VR game, Echo the Dolphin. 
Um, it was like there were like some actual IRL uh, experiments done, I think, on dolphins that like fucked with their brains and shit. It was like really inhumane and really unethical. And the creator of Echo was trying to basically tell that story, if I'm not mistaken. I like the Jumpy Frog segment, it's pretty good. Here we go, Preci pre hold on, precision jump, pre precision jumping, baby. Oh no, I've been bonked. And yeah, apparently Echo, you know, and his friends were also experimented on. Sonic Impales. Jumpy Frog does not look fun to control. It's actually not bad. It's literally just hold down the trigger and then move the controller in what direction you want to, to go in. I'm smashing up this PS5's inside. Well, you know, um, enthusiastic consent was obtained. I don't feel bad. It's the secret of Nim Dolphins. Essentially, yeah, that, that's a pretty good way to put it. It is bad. I should probably stop breaking these. These are probably platforms that I, I'm going to want to use to get to some kind of secret location. Never mind. <laughs> nope. 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 Oh, fudge. Okay. I got this. I got this this time. Don't worry about it. <laughs> thanks, thanks for the clip. Okay, now I'm, I'm gonna be patient this time. I'm gonna exercise my patience. It's, I, my most atrophied muscle. Did I mention how fun the frog is to control? It's actually really fun. Okay, we got it. <laughs> don't, don't put me back. <laughs> don't. No. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. We're fine. This is going well. Wait, wait, wait. That's Puppeteer. I streamed that for you guys, like, in 2013. You remember? Do you remember when I did that? Puppeteer was a game that I thought was going to be like Dynamite Heady, and it wasn't. It was not like Dynamite Heady at all. You get different heads, but they don't provide you different power-ups. They're just, like, they're just collectibles. Back in time to cancel Pale. Don't cancel me! Stop it. Got the little PS3 violin thing going on. Got a safe here? What's what's in the safe? What's what is this one? What the heck? What reference is this? I'm scared. Alright. Can't get them all. Whatever it is, it's dark. <laughs> Alright, this one might be Subnautica. I don't know. Subnautica somewhere. Let's see what else we can find, though. Oh, this is Parappa the Rapper, right? Parappa the Rapper and Umjammer Lammy? The next game I'm gonna stream? How fortuitous. Alright, we got a PlayStation 3 out of it. The old barbecue grill edition. You're going to believe. With great power comes a lot of issues and not a great library. Yeah, I said it. I'll say it again. The PlayStation 3 library, underwhelming. Underwhelming. You know, they, they really uh, they really saved the day with the PlayStation 4 because, good grief, this thing. Its library was almost as bad as the Xbox One and Xbox Series X so far combined. Almost. That's why we have a PS2 and a PS4. Exactly. The PS3 was a bitch to code for. Yeah, yeah, I'd read that. I'd read that was one of the primary issues. Most of what I liked on PS3 was on Xbox. Yeah, exactly. The, the PS3 really didn't, didn't have a lot in terms of uh, exclusives that really had like any wow factor on them. Like Demon Souls and Resistance. <laughs> pretty, pretty much it. 
and a lot of the games that were really good on PlayStation were like upgraded versions of Xbox 360 exclusives, like Ninja Gaiden, Sigma and Sigma 2, and it's, uh, Eternal Sonata. Crash! Cranberry juice is so pretty, I feel like I'm Demetrisk right now. It's so bitter. It's so bitter, but it's good for your kidneys. There's a PlayStation at home. I don't know if you guys remember that little experiment that they ran. Are you thinking of Catherine? I like that game in theory. I hate block pushing. Block pushing puzzles, the worst. So I won't play it. I won't do it. It's deliciously bitter. Yeah, it's not bad. What kind of uh, cranberry juice you got there? Is it ocean spray? I crash it! Oh, we got a PlayStation 4 Pro. How pro can I go? I actually decided not to get one of these. When they came out, everyone was like, ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. And that basically means get a PlayStation 4 Pro and a 4K television so that you can play uh, like three games in HDR. Now, mind you, those three games are pretty good. Like Mass Effect Andromeda. Okay. Reasonably good. Mass Effect Andromeda, uh, Monster Hunter World, and, and I don't know, something else. And I was tempted. I was half tempted. And now here I am with a PlayStation 5, and I still only have a television that goes as high as 1080p. I'm not catching, you know, all the amazement that I'm supposed to. But is it really that good of a system? You can't even see your reflection in a PlayStation 3. Worst. Worst graphics. You got a PS4 Pro for your wife so her frame rate in Final Fantasy XIV wouldn't be garbage? I mean, that's fair. <laughs> I played Final Fantasy XIV on a PlayStation 4 for a while. I understand. Your TV isn't Mega HD, but it's a smart TV, so that means something. The thing humping that console? Yes! Yes, it is. Wouldn't you? If you were small enough. I'm not, I'm not even going to ask. I already know the answer. The answer is yes. You're so cool. New speedrun challenges are now available from the CPU Plaza. Master the spring to beat this thing. That's a huge Sony fan right there. Okay, so so far, we've done the cooling springs. I cannot find a safe place on the screen to be. Absolutely the worst. The GPU jungle. And so where are we going next? I guess we're going here. To the SSD Speedway. Here we are on the Solid State Drive. Well, this place looks fun. Go, go, Astro. And it looks like I'm on some kind of Toad's Turnpike. But in real life. Pretty spicy. I'm sure we're gonna get all kinds of references in here. Fuck Toad! <laughs> I mean, someone's got to. Didn't Nintendo come out and say that Toad is, uh... Like... Genderless or something? Good for Toad. Oh, Jesus. Guys, don't, don't... I'm just trying to hang glide. It's not... It's not working. It's not working. I, I hung glide wrong. I forgot how hung gliders work. I know now. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I've played video games. All right, check this out. You ready? Bam! And then, we die. And then, we skadoosh. And we dive again, and we skadoosh. We got G-Wolf emotes in the stream. That's pretty dope. Let a caro, am I saying that right? Hello, welcome to the stream. Happy to have you here. What did I just destroy? What did I ruin? What's that? Hold on. What? What's this one? What, what reference is this? Do we know? Oh, it's Gravity Rush! We got Gravity Rush. Toad isn't even a mushroom. We should cook it. I took like two different ideas there and put them into one, but yeah. Yeah, it's a cat from Gravity Rush. Look, I don't have like the weird waifupedia that you do, Valis, but I figured it out, okay? I think we should give me some slack here. If you had such a hard time spelling, apparently all of you would be disappointed. Nah. We, uh... We accept all levels of spellers here 
Except for whatever Jiffy is. We don't we don't acknowledge that. Is a randomly generated username? Well, I, I care about pronouncing people's names properly. Uh, I care about pronouncing everything properly. It's a problem. I should be in prison. Uh, so I try to do my best. Okay, we got a charge. Got a charge. It. Not on top of it either. Very strict. Certainly pronounce my Japanese proper. Oh fuck! <laughs> that was chat's fault. Uh, well, I tried to. I tried to. Um, I've got no idea what game this is referencing. There's not enough. Uh, there's not enough uh, visual hints. Like I'm not. Not seeing. I don't know what is this. Uh, was there like was there a Batman game on? Uh, I don't know. Whatever. We'll move on. Let's see here. Yeah, Disgaea. Okay, that that would be why I didn't wreck. Oh, it's gonna be like that, huh? So that's just who we're gonna be. That's us right now. Just uh. Okay. No, I mean, I, I, I came in thinking... No, no, you know, it's fine. I, I assumed. <sighs> Stop dying! <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'm working on it. Looks like Silk Guardian Crusader. You're lucky I don't know what that means. Get good. I'm trying to... The tracking. The tracking is just busted. Someone designed this game to be too hard for people like me. Pro gamers? Too difficult. I don't know. I thought that this game was going to be, like, reasonably hard, and instead it's just impossible. So overrated game. Yeah. This game is a waste of money. Has NAC 3 been announced yet? I, <laughs> I hope not. Didn't they announce that they're never going to NAC again? Weren't they like, listen, we learned our lesson. We won't do it again, we promise. Please let us see our family again. Right? Knack it off. Alright, is this, uh, this is not Elephant Stranding. What is this? Is this something? Is this Intelligence Cube? I don't know. It's a game. I don't know what that one is either. For real, though, I really don't. Bunch of knackers. You had beans for dinner? What kind of beans? Like baked beans, black beans, pimento beans, lima beans, kidney beans, human beans, cat beans. You guys, look, I'm Crash Bandicoot. Wait. Wow! Alright, what do we got here? What's this one about? These guys look like Hunk from Resident Evil. Wait, is this Resistance? I can't really tell. Oops. Yeah, Toe Beans. I just smacked my mic. This might be Resistance. I don't play a lot of shooters, so I, uh, I just don't know. We got ourselves, I'm guessing, a PlayStation 2? Yeah, a DualShock 2 controller. Copes well under pressure. Right. The uh, the PlayStation 2 controller had uh, pressure-sensitive button input, so if you just slightly press the X button, you would do like a little jump, and if you held it in, you'd do a long jump, and that is carried over the whole time. PS2 best controller, fight me. It's a pretty good controller. I'll be, I'll be honest with you, though. I really like the PlayStation 5 controller. It feels way bulkier um, in a good way, right? Yeah. Pressure sensitive, yeah. Alright, check this out. I know how to deal with Afro monsters. I fight Afro monsters every day of my life. PS2 hasn't aged well, in my opinion. PS4 kicks its ass. Um, I think the PS4, uh, the PS2 library is definitely stronger than the PS4 library, but there is a lot of jank that comes with you know, being a system that is still kind of learning its way around 3D. Oh, you meant the controller. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The PS4 controller, I think, improves a lot on uh, 
Everything. Oh, that's weird. Ugh. It's weird in my hands the way that feels. But yeah, the monkey for this level is uh, is a rocket. So we, uh, you know, each each trigger controls a different engine, and that's the way it is. That's the life. This looks difficult. It's it's not that bad. I know I keep saying that. <laughs> so honestly, the monkey so far has been the hardest to control. That is, uh, that's, that's Vib Ribbon, right? Back there, that I'm looking at? Pretty sure this is Vib Ribbon. I'm a genius. It's not that bad, guys. I didn't die. This joke's on you. you. You look like a doofus now. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. I know what to do here. Wow! Take a little bit of that. Yes, you kidding, you do. Because I never die. I am eternal. What do we got here? The PS2 multi-tap. Guaranteed fun on tap. Oh, this was great for people with friends. I never had either. <laughs> so, probably neat. What's that back there? What is that, uh, Pikmin? Yeah. Hey, you know, Sony. Sony's Pikmin. The best game. Speaking of controllers, I recently got RE8 on Stadia, as I don't have a PS5, and that controller is pretty great. I haven't actually seen the Stadia controller. It looks like it might be pretty nice, just based on the way that you're describing it. The picture in my head, it looks pretty okay. There we go, got ourselves another uh, puzzle piece. There's uh, a lot of quicksand going on down here. I don't get it. I don't get the reference. Yeah, the controls, it's just basic six axis again, and then each trigger controls a different uh, thruster. It's not too bad. Do I hurt if I touch web? No, I can smash through it. That's even better. Really nice x bone controller for PC gaming. Um, I've mentioned a few streams in a row now that my friend let me borrow his Xbox. And I like the controller. It's got a, a pretty neat matte finish on it. A PS2 memory card. I've got some of those. See, look, I, I exist. I've, I've had things that came out before yesterday. Am I cool? Jury's still out. Eight megabyte memory card. That's too much space, if you ask me. I am cool, D Kitty. As we all know, anyone who has to say they're cool is the coolest by default. That's a fact. The factest. The truest statement I ever told. And historians in the future will look back and think, how did human history uh, exist for hundreds of thousands of years without facts this real? How did they get along, you know? And, uh, what's my source? Uh, but, uh, everybody poops. You wish they brought back animated PS2 save files? Yeah, those were cool, weren't they? Oh, that was kind of neat. It's a, it's a devil may cry there. That's a, you know, it's a, what, uh, the divine comedy there. You know, it's a, the guy with the guns. Yeah, I knew that reference. Dante's a handsome boy. He's okay. Shut up. Another PlayStation Move controller? No devil trigger. Not this time. Grizzle can eat your butt? Is it because you don't like him, or just you're very particular about who eats your butt? Just out of curiosity. I think I think this is Rezo Gun. Maybe. Feels like Rezo Gun. You repopulated a village, the world is healing. <laughs> In what? Uh, Minecraft? Oh, 
Is it? Wait. Hold on a minute. I just realized something. I think the reason why all these microphone prompts are going off by themselves is because it's it's treating my headset. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, I was blown away by awe. I can't jump and be awestruck at the same time. That's too hard. Too hard to do. Wait a minute. I think you missed something here. You did. What do you think about the PS5 GFX so far? It's a big step up. Um, I don't have a TV. <laughs> at all. I just don't have a TV. No, um, I don't have a, a TV that is capable of like 4K or HDR or anything like that. So I don't notice that much of a difference. Most of what I'm noticing is um, improved frame rate and improved load times, which goes a long way. Like, don't get me wrong, that, that actually is huge. But in terms of like actual graphical enhancements, I'm not seeing a lot of it. It doesn't seem like that big of an upgrade from, from PlayStation 4. Uh, so this is Bot, I guess, trying to make fun of Eco. The animations seem better. Yeah, it might it might just be the frame rate. Uh, I think lighting is improved as well. Ray tracing, all that garbage. But my, my television can't handle all that stuff. We got a PS2 disc. Remember when the PlayStation 2 discs were blue? Do you remember when they reflected a city skyline when you looked at them? Do you remember that, guys? I thought that was pretty cool. About PlayStation 2 game discs, specifically. Was this Minecraft? What is this, Ruta Repulsa? Alright, perfect. Alright, what's down here? Um... Oh, that's like the... What is this? <laughs> the Vita? I don't know what we're looking at here. My commentary is out of this world. I can't seem to break this thing. It requires things of me. See, I don't think that's Katamari. I was thinking that too, but I think there's like an actual Katamari reference where you see like a bot dressed up like the prince. I'm pretty sure. Maybe Little Big Planet? Yeah, you know what? I think you're right. Little Big Planet. I think that was the reference. Good job. Fuck the prince. <laughs> What do you have against? What do you have against him? Fuck Minigun, baby! Oh wait, I have the means now. I've seized the means of production. It's about to get real in here. He can roll his own garbage. <laughs> Slytherin is on a roll. That's true. You hate a lot of people. That's fair. What do we got here? We got the eye toy camera. It keeps your granny entertained. Is that true? Does anyone have grannies? Computer died again? You don't want an eye on my granny? <laughs> your granny? I really don't get the joke they're trying to make there. It's a bit weird. Bit of a weird one. Oh, I need to get the gun again. There we go. Shotgun diplomacy, baby. With a, with a minigun. Mini, minigun diplo diplomacy. You loved iToy as a kid? What do you even do on? I was too poor for peripherals. These guys are just dancing. You don't have a lot of games that use it though. Like I still, what, what do you do with it? That's the thing. Uh, oh, it's a tight. Yeah, hey, I can do tight. Right? It was connect before the connect. Okay, that's fair. Maybe this is Rezo Gun. I don't know. <laughs> All space shooters are the same. I think we can agree on that. The minigun reminds you of Splatoon? Uh, yeah, kinda. Except it shoots balls.
why are there vibrators that launch things? Uh, that's the PlayStation Move, aka Sony's first functional sex toy. And uh, that's a good question. Oh, shit. We're zooming off into the uh, into the atmosphere. <laughs> he said balls. Yeah, and I'll do it again. I'll say balls ten times if I want to. I'm a maverick. You know, you can never really predict what's going to come out of me. Oh, uh, hang on. I'd like to get... It's a water asteroid. That's right. Logan Paul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. I'm always, uh... Fuck. Pushing the envelope. That's me. still make new PlayStation moves. I feel like they just had a warehouse full of them, and then when they made the PSVR, it's like, ah yeah, baby, we're about to move some product. I think that's what happened. Fuck! I'll get this. Don't worry. I'll get it. I mean, that had to be what happened. There's no way that they designed the PlayStation VR with the move, like, yeah, you know, that's, that's the best, that's the best peripheral that we could come up with. So what, what great fortune that it already, damn it, already exists. Does the envelope say Pale's Will and Testament? <laughs> yes. Yes, it does. They quickly scoop them out of a landfill. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, we can't touch... This is like playing Operation. We can't touch the side. Otherwise, we get doinked. There we go. What's going on in here that's so important? I feel like I'm going backwards. You love a good doink? Doink a Hana Hue. That's where I started. I just went backwards somehow. No idea how I pulled that off, but here we are, I guess. I did not stick that landing, 3 out of 10. Why you gotta judge me so much? Judge less. Smile more. Fuck. <laughs> this game is a buster. This game's busting me right now. You're smiling while judging? I guess that's legal. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Guys. This is a game for children. Children play this game. Headbutts are legal in football. They should be legal in this game, too. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm getting in there. I will kill someone! Okay. There. That's all. And, uh, we got a PlayStation 2 out of it. Cute kid, looks just like its mum, so it's the slim model. Uh, this is actually the model that I have, because the, uh, the fat model, the OG model, no longer reads discs. Uh, so for a while I used it exclusively to play Final Fantasy XI. While well, that was still supported on the PlayStation 2. And then it wasn't. They missed a trick by not making Ape Escape 4 be the game to show off the DS5 function. Yeah, you know what? You're not wrong. Like, this is fine too. I like this. You know, being able to... You know, re... Think... I'm not doing a good job as a streamer right now. <laughs> being able to re-experience 25 years of PlayStation history. It's very cool, but yeah, an Ape Escape game would have also been pretty damn good. This stream is a mess. This stream is a, is a metric mess. Why did I think I could do it? I don't know why. I had like some spark of confidence for a moment, like, oh yeah, I can make this happen. And uh, that's the lesson to take home, ladies and germs. Dreams don't come true. There it is. Bam, baby. 
The guy who made Super Monkey Ball went on to make Yakuza. Have a think on that. It's wild. Yeah. And now Yakuza is going to be a, uh, a turn-based RPG going forward. All future Yakuza games, fuck, will be turn-based, from what I understand. Which is upsetting for a lot of people. I haven't played Like a Dragon yet, so I don't know for sure whether I dislike that or not. But uh, I sure was excited to see a sequel to Judgment uh, pop up. So it looks like the, the old Yakuza formula... Kiryu versus Cloud Strife, who would win? Kiryu. hundred times. Now, it was cool to see that the, uh, the formula is staying alive. I love Judgment. I think it was great. Oh. Kiryu, of course. Yeah. I mean, Kiryu is basically the Goku of video games. I think we can all pretty much agree with that. In fact, the name of his game even kind of sounds... Fuck. It's uh, Ryu ya Gotoku. Gotoku. Gotoku? I think it's Gotoku. Which means like a dragon. Turn base is always fun. Do not in distress. I'm not either. I don't dislike turn based games, but I know a lot of people are disappointed by the idea of their Yakuza game being. <laughs> there you go, light your own fuse. Um, you know, going all of a sudden turn based. But for all intents and purposes, the Yakuza games are already RPGs. You feel like gamers need to be more acceptable to change your hate nostalgia? Don't look. Don't look at the game we're playing. Um, I'm with you, though. I'm with you. Maybe it'll be cool turn-based like Transistor. Oh, that sound. That's delightful. Yeah, it might be. Like I said, I haven't played it yet, but I'm excited. You hate living in the past? I don't mind the nostalgia stuff as long as it's handled well. What I really don't like is game developers being afraid to try new things, right? So there's companies that just make the same game over and over again. Rockstar, Bethesda, Ubisoft, from software now at this point, if we're being honest with ourselves. Uh, Koi Tecmo, you know, a lot, Koi Tecmo's been better. They've branched out into making copies of other successful games like Neo for Souls and Tokiden for Monster Hunter. We got the PlayStation 2, 2000 of Games Odyssey. Ain't that the truth? What a solid little monster this thing was. You know, I, I like game companies that try to think outside the box, take risks, and there really aren't a lot of AAA companies that are willing to do that, which is why the indie scene has been able to scratch out such a significant niche for itself. Or niche. Could pronounce it either way. Yeah, you know, occasionally I have some pretty salient takes. <laughs> it's, it's not all butt fuckery and misery on the screen, you know. Sometimes, sometimes I know what I'm talking about. Which is why you have so many farming games. Honestly, I don't have enough too many farming games. So we're back in PlayStation Labo. Let's see what we can buy. We have Harvest Moon and Stardew. I have Graveyard Keeper. That's the last... Harvest Moon slash Stardew Valley like game that I played. It's basically just like those games, but it has like actually it has like a pretty solid story. And you're a graveyard keeper, so you need to tend your graveyard, and uh, you sell the town meat. Where that meat comes from, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, your uh, your main objective is to uh, fill out your graveyard and solve the mystery of the town. Human meat, exactly. So we got the PS2 network adapter, the secret to successful networking, for all two games that used it. Final Fantasy XI and, like, what, fucking Tribes Aerial Assault? <laughs> I don't know. PS2 network adapter, a.k.a. Soft Mod Box. Yeah, and I have one. I have one of those. My favorite musical is Sweeney Todd, I'm No Stranger to Cannibalism. Well, good. More puzzle piece. More puzzle piece. You have Stardew Valley, Graveyard Keeper, Gleaner Heights, Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town, Story of Seasons, Pioneers of All, Pioneers of Olives. Uh, hello? Why is the stream chat so far behind? What the heck? <laughs> I was trying to catch what happened, and uh, so if anything happened in the last 20 minutes, I didn't see it. Uh, give me one moment here. I'm refreshing the page. What? What is my life? A Wonderful Life is your favorite Harvest Moon. 
Dude, I haven't played a Harvest Moon proper since the Super Nintendo original Harvest Moon. How wild is that? Oh, we got the creation of a sack boy. Wow, the page still is not refreshed. That is some kind of magic. I'm just getting a lot of junk. Throwing the boomerang. And another puppet. You would love a new Monster Rancher? I think they were talking about making a new one pretty recently, weren't they? There was talk about it. My guy, can you please refresh this page? I'm beside myself. Alright, well, it's coming together. There's a couple on the DS, but it's not the same on the itty-bitty screen. The last... I think the last uh, Monster Rancher game I own... Well, the only one I own, and the last one I played, I think it was, like, Monster Hunter... Not, not Monster Hunter. Monster Rancher Evo, I think. I think it's, like, the fourth one. It's a PS2 game. I didn't play very far into it. Um, I wish I could read what you guys are saying. <laughs> My computer is having a thrombo right now. Evo's the fifth one? Okay. Well, I have that one. Out of this world, new speedrun challenges are now available from CPU Plaza. Can you rock it to the finish in record time? Probably not. This is absolutely astonishing. My browser has just frozen. Oh well. I'll try and catch up once I get it back, but uh, it's not a good look. Not a good look right now. I want to read what you guys have to say. So this is the Memory Meadow. Hopefully this will be more jam-packed with memories and jam than all the other areas combined. Gusty Gateway. We've got a cat one. Is my browser Chrome by any chance? It is. It is. It 100% is. Memories and Jam Gaiden. <laughs> I believe this is Flower? I think? I think this is Flower. You're still in major depression over Fatal Frame turning into a pachinko when the original devs have been ready to make a game for a literal year. Yeah, I'm almost surprised that, what, does Konami make Fatal Frame? Because <laughs> Konami really loves taking beloved franchises and turning them into pachinko games where they die. Pachinko is where games go to die. That's, that's a fact. That explains the crashing you might be having memory overloads. Yeah, Chrome sucks. I, can't, I cannot get this thing. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to see about just exiting Chrome altogether. Yeah, just leave everything. Oh, that worked. Okay. Do I have my, uh... Well, no, now it's... Isn't that the worst thing? When, like, something crashes and you tell it to close and it still takes a while to, like, actually close, but while it's taking a while, everything works properly? Isn't that crazy? Streaming uses up slot of memory, so it might be that also. Uh, I'm not streaming from my computer. I'm streaming from the, uh, from the PlayStation itself. Which is why I don't have cool overlays when people follow or subscribe or any of that good stuff. Uh, so we're just going to let me get hit by garbage a few times while I reload Google Crumbs. And uh, hope for the best, honestly. We had Fatal Frame 2 remake and 4 and the Wii U. Was there a remake for Fatal Frame 2? I didn't even know. Okay. I finally got it back. Holy cow. Also, I use scissors to take out a battery and I didn't die. Call that a pro game gamer move? I will. I will call it that. Wonderful Life is your favorite. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All of town. That's what I mean. Did I free... Did I free M boot my PS2? I did not. I've never done any kind of uh, modding. New No More Heroes is happening. Never got into the series though, to be honest. Um, it's like, it's it's regular Suda51 fair. If you've played any Suda51 game, you've basically played No More Heroes, but I'll be getting them. Does anyone have Game Pass? My friend has Game Pass on Xbox, um, but I have to give his system back in like two days. So, 
But I've been playing stuff on there, and I've been getting stream ideas. There's a game called Void Bastard that looks very streamable. And uh, speak of Ape Escape, look what we got here. Got a little bit of Ape Escape right here. That's fun. The game was super ahead of its time. It was basically Outlast before it came out. Yeah, doggy. I don't, I'm not gonna like die in here, right? No, I'm not okay. And uh, what do we got here? We got uh, uh, medieval, which Jeff insists is pronounced medieval because he doesn't know how puns work. And uh, you know, that's that. This stream is half me playing video games poorly and half dunking on Jiffy. <laughs> yep. Once the stoning to death uh, channel point reward becomes live, like once it goes live, we're going to throw all of our rocks at you. All of them. Now go ahead, slam down on me. Probably not the first time I've said that. It won't be the last of us. Two. No ledge grabbing. All right, what do we got in here? Oh, look, it's Elephant Stranding. There it is, see? It didn't take too long for us to get there. You wanted to play Medieval so bad when you were a kid? Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> there's a story that I'm not sure is okay to share. Um, what's this one? A little bit about mail? I don't know. I'm sure someone will get it. Back when I was young, let's say maybe 15 years old, there was a, uh, a woman who lived in the neighborhood. Uh, she wanted us to call her Zeddy, and she offered to give me math tutorials, uh, tutorage, in exchange for uh, you know, buying me like memory cards and shit. And you know, when my mom found out about that, she put a stop to it pretty quickly, uh, called all the other moms in the neighborhood. <laughs> you know, you know how it goes. And then uh, I never saw her again. And at the time, I was resentful, because I wanted to play Medieval. I wanted to be able to, to you know, save my games. <laughs> and uh, what probably ended up happening was uh, my mom saved me from having a, uh, a pretty bad time. A pretty bad time that a lot of people probably would have high-fived me for, because our society is weird. It's weird. Stop blowing at now. Never mind, go ahead. <laughs> Keep going, you've earned it. Congrats on becoming this close to having a bad time. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. We live in a society. I have an umbrella. I'm Pale Voyager. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, can I get over here? Do you think this is a safe jump to make? I don't feel like anything is a safe jump to make. Umbrella Core Voyager? I just want to know what that game over there is. It's a golf game. Never mind, I don't care. It's like Hot Shots Golf or something? We're fine. Play Umbrella Core Voyager West. The first one was Pale, not Play. I, I don't know how to read, I'm sorry. Uh, I do have... Was that... Was that... No, it was um, Operation Raccoon City was the one with, uh, with the six hunk clones. Like, this one's good at medics. This one's good at explosives. This one's good at finding stuff. This one's good at invisible. Hey, what is this one? Is that Dark Souls? <laughs> but this one is. Is it... Oh, you know what I think that is, despite that fact that that's literally a bird? I think this is The Last Guardian. By the way, on the controller, I can feel the rain. Like, I can feel it. It feels like rain. I can feel each raindrop that hits the umbrella. It's very cool. Hey, Paradox Zero. This is indeed the Dark Souls of PlayStation. And uh, we got the Origami Killer here. It's, uh, it's Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain, you guys. Heavy Rain and or My Neighbor Totoro. Alright, can I make it over to this thing? I can. This puzzle piece is mine. <laughs> Totoro-san, please. 
Yo, is it time for another Heavy Rain patch stream? Okay, GTF, were you there? Were you there when I actually did that, or is just his story of the thing become lionized? Please, no more Heavy Rain stream. Dude, my Heavy Rain stream had a rough start, but it was one of the funniest things I've ever done. That's a fact. Did I ever play RE4 on iPad? They tried to port it, but had to downgrade the graphics so much it looked like a PS1 game. That sounds amazing. When Guillermo del Toro was in Japan, there was a little girl who had a hard time saying his name, so he let her call him Totoro-san. Yeah, I saw that. My neighbor, Guillermo del Toro. El Totoro-san. I don't know why she would have trouble pronouncing his name. I understand why we would have trouble pronouncing his name. But with the way uh, Japanese works, his name is actually very Japanese friendly. Like, Gi Erumo Deru Toro. Like, that's easy. It is. He doesn't have, like, weird V's and all kinds of N words in his name. <laughs> Kids can't pronounce things. That's fair. That is fair. Alright, what's the what's the power this time? What are we zipping up as? Balls. Balls, 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 balls. My name in Japanese for Koreans and Jap is a nightmare for Koreans and Japanese because I have Earl. <laughs> yeah, you have Earl. My name is Earl. They'd have to call you like Karuri. I'm okay with death. He's an old friend of mine. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Super monkey ball again. So I changed my mind. This is my least favorite one. The way that you control this one is literally you just... You stroke around on the touchpad. That's, that's how you do it. It's, uh, it doesn't control badly, but it's not my favorite. Yeah, it's a bit dirty. And so you can tell, probably, that sharp turns are going to be an issue. <laughs> Especially since going straight for me seems to be an issue. So, uh, let's do it. You always hated using a touchpad like that? Yeah, it's not the best. We got jumping flash, though. That is so overt. Like, it's not even a guess. That is 100% jumping flash. Uh, I gotta be honest with you guys, I think I missed the, uh... I think I missed the Dark Souls reference. There is one in this game. There's a Demon Souls reference, a Dark Souls reference, and a Bloodborne reference, and a Sekiro reference, and a Ghost of Tsushima reference, and I may have missed all of those except for the Bloodborne reference. I don't know how. I tried really hard to get into everything. I only accept stroking touchpads when it comes to like petting animals. <laughs> Touchpad is on the PS5 for the two PS4 games that use it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So long, overnight pauses. For real. When I got a PlayStation... Actually, I didn't have a PlayStation as a kid until, like, like two or three, maybe four years after it came out. Uh, so I would go to my friend's house, and he had a PlayStation and Final Fantasy VII, but no memory card. And he also had the PlayStation demo disc that had, like, uh, Armored Core and Parappa the Rapper and Intelligence Cube demos on it. I did not have the, the mini PS1. I did not have that either. But he got this PlayStation, he had the games, no memory card. So he would play as far as he could into Final Fantasy VII, and I would watch him. And then he'd die, and he'd have to start all over again. And this was like several weekends. That was our lives. Just a pitiful Sis Sisyphean climb up a mountain, only to tumble back down to the bottom. We always had Nintendo, PlayStation, we never had Sega or Xbox. Uh, I have a Sega Genesis and an Xbox 360. That's that's all I have from those ones. Everything else is Nintendo or Sony for me. There we go. I like the 360, though. The, the 360 had a good library. It definitely won the console war or whatever for that year. Hey. All of our handhelds are Nintendo. I have a PSP 2000 and a Vita. Alfredo? Never liked Sonic, and as a kid you didn't know what else was on Sega? Honestly, not a whole lot else. <laughs> there's, not, there's not much. I say that, but I have like a whole collection of some 53 Sega games on the, the PlayStation uh, Sega collection. 
It had some decent ones, but yeah. You and Jif would get along. He also doesn't like classic Sonic. Oh. Fine. The heck with you. You don't have fun going fast with a slowpoke? Going fast is not really the main uh, thing of Sonic. It's collecting rings and then Chaos Gemeralds and then turning into a Goku. Alright, that's some kind of plane game. I, I don't know. Ace Combat? Like, what am I? What am I, a jock? <laughs> Duh! No! I'm a nerd! Jeez! Get your clique right. You guys say clique or click? I say click, but when I'm on stream I say clique. Is it Ace Combat? Do you have like a page up right now, Valis, of like what all the, the references are, so you can flex? Is that what I'm seeing from you right now? You guys say click? Yeah, I think that one makes sense. It's great that all these microphone puzzles get solved for me. I don't hate it. Click even though it's spelled Cleek. I think it's supposed to be pronounced Cleek. Oh, there it is. There's Ghost of Tsushima. There you go. You got it. He's a samurai. You're old school? Well, so am I, Valus, but I also have extensive brain damage. <laughs> So I, so I don't, I don't remember everything. Speaking of the PS1 though, look at that. There's the PS1 L LSD monitor. It's flippin' genius. Sam R.I. I wish cherry blossom trees could live here, but they can't because again, Alberta is a nightmare. Accurate. I like cherry blossoms also. There we go. Did you guys know that uh, in Final Fantasy XIV, when Yoshi P announces new uh, jobs with the expansions, he wears shirts to kind of give a hint. So for the Dark Knight class, he wore a Batman shirt. Right? That's pretty cool. And for the, uh, the Samurai reveal, he wore a Spider-Man shirt. You guys know why? Pretty clever. Because the director of the first Spider-Man trilogy is Sam Raimi, and if you were to pronounce that using Japanese phonetics, it kind of sounds like Samurai. Samurai-ni. So, the point is, Yoshi P's gone off the deep end. Infamous, right? We got Infamous up there? Infamous. Yoshi P should make friends with Kojima. He probably has already. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I... Oh, I'm dead now. I don't know if I mentioned it to you guys, but remember... Remember Control? You remember that game, Control? Do you remember that crazy dream doctor? And we, we sat through, like, we went into, like, a, a, a sensory deprivation chamber and dealt with forklifts and seagulls and shit? That was Hideo Kojima. That was Hideo Kojima both of those names. It was him. That was him. He was doing that. That was my man Hideous Kajumbo speaking to us about nonsense. Just absolute nonsense. Kojima would talk to me about a fucking seagull. Yeah, he would. You know what day it is today? You're amused as hell? You should be. I thought that was a pretty neat factoid. Oh, nope. There we go. Platforming at its finest. Like a platforming god fuck. <laughs> I was so sure I'd make it. I had hope in my heart. Fuck. Guys, this game is too hard for me. I'm 35 years old. <laughs> the comedic timing of it happening as often as it happens is pretty great. I'll give you that. There we go. So apparently my aunt is coming on Saturday and she shit-talked seeing me last time she visited, so I plan on being as obnoxious as possible. Because I'm bitter? Do it, man! Give her the bidness. Make her feel unwelcome. Oh! 
Alright, Swamp, calm down. I see you. I see you out here. No, wait, no, no! That quick recovery is courtesy of me being a genius. Thank you, thank you. I'm Pell Voyager. How are you doing? The best at games, the best at women. Neither, neither of those is remotely true. But I do my best. Doing my best out here. Wait, no, no! Did I say winning or women? I said women. Let me on the platform. Please. I'm a genius in the same way a Pokemon professor is a genius. Wait, wait! Yeah, I would fight you on that, but I think you're right. I think you're correct. I think everything you're saying right now is more true than everything I'm saying. I'm not used to it. It's a weird feeling. But it's the world I live in right now. I don't like these clouds. I'll be honest with you. These clouds can shut up and jam. Wait for it, wait for it. The big boy is adorable. He is a sweet, sweet little cupcake. And I am a ball. I think this is the last time I have to do this. Who knows? Iron Giant. No, it was a Shadow of the Colossus reference when we saw him earlier. So. Here's a Sonic the Hedgehog reference. <laughs> oh, it's a pinball! Wait, 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 wait. Can I get this, uh... I want to get the, um... The, uh, you know, the, uh... The puzzle piece. And I did. There you go. My life's dream. Complete. Now I can die. You love pinball so much? I am pretty bad at it, but I like it. I like pinball. Although, if I were to go to an arcade, you know, and there were pinball machines lined up against the wall, and even one of the other arcade cabinets was The Simpsons or X-Men, um, you know, sorry, pinball. Just like the flashy parts. Hang on. Was that meant to be Shadow of the Colossus? Yeah, well, we saw it earlier. We saw, like, a boy with a sword trying to fight the Iron Giant-looking thing. So I'm assuming, since it's the same giant, that was just kind of a, hey, remember Shadow of the Colossus again? I can't read chat right now. <laughs> this is way too demanding of me. Okay. I really want to buy an old-school Mortal Kombat arcade machine. Why that one specifically? Dual Shock controller. These apes can't escape now. Got them. When you press the buttons, they all, they all do something. Except that one. Wait, if I touch the share button, does it press select? No, it doesn't. Jebated. <laughs> PlayStation! Do -do 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 okay, I'm done. Did you love Mortal Kombat? That's fair. I like, Metal I, I like the third Mortal Kombat, and that's about it. And, uh, wait, there's another one. There's a uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon, I think it was called, where I could make a, a vomiting Power Ranger. Is that the one? Where you had to put in a password to play the game? Like, you put in your own password, and then if you forgot it, you could never access your content ever again? That happened to me. That happened to me uh, a long time ago. You got a shower, Neon Doll? All right, well, you know. Try to think of the stream while you're in there. That's, that's really all I ask. <laughs> Fuck! I'm doing it. I'm gonna use my left thumb. I'm left-handed, so this should go better. You made yours simple? Yeah, here I was like, ah, no one will guess my password, so my game's extra safe, as if I have friends who would try to use my game without my permission. Fuck, oh, come on! I got through all the hard parts! This game is a hate crime. To be honest, most fighting games I just play for hot girls. Eh, that's fine. That's allowed. Does that mean you like Dead or Alive? Motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Southpaw. I'm left-handed. 
Uh, everything I write with pencil looks like dog shit. Um, what else do I do that's really dumb? Using scissors? <laughs> Just in general? No, there's like another action that I was doing before that I realized I was doing wrong because I'm left-handed. It was recent. What's problematic about that? Who doesn't like anime titties? True. That's me when I watch cartoons and play games. What cartoons? That was. Uh, Pocket Station, big in Japan. Do the buttons work on this one? Yeah, they do. Look at that. Ah. Yeah, I don't think this ever released in, in uh, North America, but uh, I know that the Pocket Station worked with Final Fantasy VIII and a few other games. I don't know. I'm not royalty, so I don't have access to that information. Like, I watched Ren and Stimpy for the pig old biddies, you know? So, like, I like anime. You had Pocket Station and it really cheesed FF8 even more. So, did they did release it in America then? I just, I just never got one because I was too poor for peripherals? Saga Frontier 2 used the pocket station? That's dope. Alright, what do we have over here? We haven't seen Spyro. Ridge Racer. We haven't seen Spyro or Crash Bandicoot yet, and I think it's my fault. Is that my O-Face? Um, yes. <laughs> for, just for the sake of argument, yes. These are the, the little mascots, little PlayStation mascots in Japan. Was it called Todokun? Is that the, uh... Is that the cat? You were 17 when it released here? Yeah, dude, you're old as fuck! <laughs> and you gotta, you gotta know, I take so much pleasure in saying that, because I don't get to say it about almost anybody. And people are always saying it about me. Okay. You have Spyro plush, and it's so cute, I have him sat next to my people. Don't do it, D-Kitty! Don't do it. Let me have this. Be nice to me. Let me bully Valis in peace. You're older than me, but I'm still old as fuck. Yeah, I know. I know. Valis, is this going to be me at 43? I'm going to be like, I'm 43. That's still young. I'm vibrant. Okay, PlayStation, three-dimensional Big Bang. You know. That's handsome. Look at that with the, with the, with the rainbow down there. The PlayStation 1 is still the best CD player on the market. That's a fact. You can look that up. My bot was riding that green tube. Well, wouldn't you? How do, fellow kids? <laughs> I feel like that's me. I'm 35. I wear, like, really age-inappropriate shirts. And, uh, I, I don't think I've ever grown up. I don't think I ever will. I'm gonna be 80 years old and protesting people bullying me for my age. I've collected four key PlayStation artifacts. Congratu- Wait, what's that sound? It's coming from the basement of CPU Plaza. You better go back there and investigate. All right, well, I guess I will. After I cash in all my coins. Your age got exposed to 61. That's right, in RimWorld I am 61 years old. That's true. I am an old McMahon. See, this dude's playing the CD player on the PlayStation 1. The clothes you wear now will be seen as old people clothes, clothes by then. Oh no! Really? Ironic internet t-shirts are going to be for old fogies? I don't know if I'm ready for that. I'm going to call you and say, Happy birthday, Pale, you're still old. <laughs> well, I'm never giving you my number. <laughs> Foiled! I crush your dreams like I crush balls! What do we got here? Oh, we got the PlayStation Go, right? You guys were saying that they, they forgot about the PlayStation Go? Well, as RNG would have it, they did not forget. Isn't that fantastic? No UMD, OMG. Yeah, uh, I'll be honest with you. Systems that are 100% digital, I don't like them. 
I don't like that about them. It's my least favorite thing about them. The loading screen. Cool, cool. I wonder if we're going to get the trophy trophy. It's like a small chance that we'll get it. There's one of these dioramas that's literally a PlayStation trophy, and you unlock a trophy. What do we got here? The PSP camera. Portable cameras? They'll never catch on. That's true. I'm sorry, is Sony trying to take credit for cell phones having cameras on them? Is that what's going on right here? Is Sony really doing that flex? You never bought the digital PS5? No, I didn't. I got the, the coin slot one where you put coins in. All right, what else we got here? We got Sony Interactive Entertainment. Not mad at that. And another puzzle. You remember that camera? Had it with Invisimals. <laughs> How was that game? Was it everything you wanted and more? Now, throughout this playthrough, we're not going to see this mural completed. I will show it to you guys. But I'm not going for a 100% playthrough. Been there, done that. It's too much work. <laughs> we were the Invisimals all along. There's just so much, like, look at all this litter. There's garbage all over the floor. It was okay, it was kind of like Pokemon Go. It was Pokemon Go before Pokemon Go was Pokemon Go. That's pretty great. We've unlocked the shit. The shit's been unlocked, we can go in there now. Yeah, we missed a bunch of references, yikes. Hey, Papa Beatloaf, welcome back. I'm on a roll. New speedrun challenges are now available from CPU Plaza. Have a ball protect perfecting my time. I might. But first, let's go into the basement. They were big enough the basement. Let's see what the hell's going on down here. Oh, that's literally where this cube is. Okay, okay. Look at them all. <laughs> well, I'm good at making friends. This is why I have none. I punched them all. Anything happened while you were gone? Um, a few things. We, we went down memory lane of the PlayStation 2 and 1. We saw some great references. Uh, I died a lot. Yeah. All true. I'm gonna burn this disc. Who's Ken? Oh, we're playing a demo. Yeah, also, I'm sad that I'm old. I tried to bully Valis the way everyone bullies me, and they didn't let me. It's, uh, it's painful. Ken Kuturagi. He's making that up. I think Dallas is probably just making it up. He just wants us to think that he uh, that he knows things. Ken Kuturagi. That sounds more like an actual Japanese name. Oh shit, we got extra hits. The creator of PlayStation. Okay, whatever, buddy. It's the T-Rex again. Was it just referencing its own game when we saw the T-Rex before? Right, I'm gonna get him. It's a dino crisis. Oh, it's a dino! Right, you need to calm down before I punch you in the eye. See? Told you. I told you it was coming. This music reminds me of something. I can't quite put my finger on it. T-Rex PS1 demo still holds up. Does it? Oh shoot. Okay, we're good. Eh. 
back when everything was on a platform of cubes. If you guys played, have you guys played Intelligent Cube? That game was dope. Moist. I'm pretty sure it was called something else in uh, not America, but in North America it was called Intelligence Cube. And you basically just had like blocks. I know I, I said I hate block pushing games. You don't really push them so much as whoops. Well, whatever. It was still, it was still good. Really don't get hit by those or these. Apparently, that's really easy to do. When's it gonna be my turn? When do I actually get to uh, fight back against this guy? Oh, hello. I think I just got my question answered. Here, have a trophy. I'll destroy you with what's destroying me. Yeah, he kills his own ass. <laughs> yeah, I should clip that. That was a pretty good line. If I do say so myself. Seriously, just Mario Odyssey with PlayStation nostalgia? Yeah. I don't disagree with you. What's the matter? Block got your tongue. <laughs> He just got Tyrannosaurus wrecked! Bitch! <laughs> got him! Yeah, it was adorable. I want money! Yeah, so we got a credit screen here. Some enemies showing up. Uh, after the credits are done, I'm gonna try and do some of the time the time trials. They're not that bad. And then with the time that is inevitably going to be left, because I think we still... Yeah, we still have like a full-ass hour. Uh, I'm going to... load my save file for my 100% completed uh, run and... show off the Labo, and we can kind of indulge ourselves in a little bit of nostalgia for a bit. I am Astro Body. Oh, what's this one doing? Oh, chunky. Thank you, Papa Beatlo. You are the wing beneath my wind. Speaking of fighting credits, are we going to talk about Nier and how upset I am about it? That I can't play it? Because Square is uh, evil? SGF will not accept the help for the end of Automata. Is he out of his mind? I don't think it can be done. I don't think it can humanly be done without the help. He is... he's insane. I'm looking forward to that. I want to see if it will break him. He refuses. How close to the end is he? Oh, we'll get this... Oh, I forgot how to fight that enemy. Forgot about that one. Get this. So uh, I, I pre-order uh, the big PP edition of Nier, something I very rarely do with games. Usually I'm not willing to spend, you know, even $10 more for art books and whatever. But every now and then I try to treat myself. And, um, you know, I uh, pre-ordered the big PP edition off their store uh, in September of last year. I was one of the first people who did. Like, the second the announcement went up, I pre-ordered it. This is all important, what I'm telling you right now. Um, so the, the time comes, I get charged. <clears throat> I get charged in March. 
The game releases on April 23rd, uh, 2021. So five days before the game releases, my friends let me know, hey, ours just shipped. I'm like, oh, mine hasn't shipped yet. Fast forward to a day before the game comes out, still hasn't even shipped. So I contact them uh, and I'm like, hey, what's going on with my order? It should probably have shipped by now, huh? And I get a response from somebody saying, oh yeah, no, all orders have been shipped. Don't worry, you'll get yours. Uh, the next day, the day of release comes, still hasn't shipped. So I contact them again and they're like, yeah, actually we had a warehouse error and we haven't been able to, uh, to ship your order, but don't worry, we'll ship it as soon as possible. It shouldn't be more than a week. No, no, listen, Beatloaf, someone asked, okay? I'm not, I'm not, I didn't start it this time. Someone asked me, I'm just responding <laughs> to their, to their query. Um, yeah, so it, it's what, what, like three, three weeks out now? The game's been out for about three weeks at this point? Guess what? Still hasn't shipped. Still hasn't even shipped. You gotta comb that hair? Thank you, Papa Beatloaf. Thank you for getting this mess out of my eyes. We're almost an hour left. Usually the uh, the comb hair things uh, they come right at the top of the screen. I'm glad you guys let me have a bit of a cloth. Oh, the back is not liking this. Wow. The warehouse era was a guy in the shipping warehouse who was a huge Mir fan stealing it for himself. Probably. So I've also emailed, you know, contacted them asking, like, hey, what are we going to do about compensation? And at first it's like, yeah, we're not going to compensate you. But that was within the first week. Now it's almost a month. I feel like they should probably do something for me. You know? My suggestion was giving me a, uh, an activation key for the digital version of the game. That's probably good. <laughs> yeah, that looks professional. Uh, for the digital version of the game so I can, you know, I can, uh... I can play the thing I paid for. Yoko Taro will suck my penis. That would make it worth it, honestly. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh... And then the last the last correspondence I had was uh, almost a week ago. Someone said that they were going to contact Square Headquarters and see what compensation options were available, and he'd get back to me for better or worse. He hasn't yet. Free gift card to Subway. <laughs> Man... Let's not get me started on Kaine, all right? I would do a lot for her. I would, uh, I would do more for her than I would for a Klondike bar. And I'd consume either in a similar fashion. Are right, we good on the on the credits? Yeah, we're good on the credits. Kaine, one more thing. All right, they've got one more thing for us. I forgot about this. Uh, they don't seem to be any kind of reference. See, this is DLC, by the way. These are the Pulse 3D wireless headset, the uh, the PlayStation 5 3D audio thing. I don't have that. I don't have it. The secret PlayStation 6. <laughs> Jackie! So, uh, yeah, I don't have that. Apparently it's a good headset. I don't know. It's too expensive for me. I'm not trying to drop that kind of flip. Uh, this is what you're looking at me with. The HD camera. Looks like a clamera. That is a fact. If I had a mirror, I would show you guys the camera itself. It's, uh, it's on a tripod with a ring light. And uh, a, good, a very good friend of mine, one might say my best friend, uh, bought both those things for me so I could stream. Isn't that lovely? What a handsome man. What a mansome ham. The secret is that Sega and Sony are teaming up to make the Dreamcast 2 and Shenmue 4. <laughs> no! I don't want... It's it, it Shenmue, right? Shun, Shenmue is how you pronounce that. It was me, you're welcome. It was not Papa Beatloaf, but Papa Beatloaf has contributed to the making of this stream, absolutely. It's in my hands. Now? My, my hands? Right in my hands? I don't know, you can't see the same side of the controller at the same time on both screens. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's the same one. It's hard to tell. I guess I'll just have to believe it. We have to finish Shunmu? Well, who's we? What do you mean by that? Speaking of contributing, yes, Slytherin has also given much of her blood, sweat, and tears into the stream, as have D Kitty and Pipnini. The only person who hasn't at all 
even a little bit, is Jiffy. Oh shit! Some Slytherin just gave out five tier one community subs. Dag, yo! I don't know if there's five of you in there, but whoever those five of you are, uh, welcome to the Pee Pee Poo Poo Squad. It's a working title, I'll change it later. Um, enjoy the emotes, we've got some of those, and a uh, big thank you to some Slytherin for being so generous. Hot potato. <laughs> Dodge that bullet, what are you talking about? Uh, number five is alive. I get references. That has a movie with Ali Sheedy, and I spent a lot of my adolescence crushing hard on her. Oh my god. If you guys don't know who Ali Sheedy is, she's the basket case in The Breakfast Club. So there's, there's definitely an aesthetic that I like. I'm just going to put that out there. The Kitty, Grimm's, Combo Hugs, Paradox, and K... Arcada... Wait, you can give out gift subs to people who aren't actually watching the stream, right? Does that work? Because if they're actually in here... Hello? Well, congratulations, you've collected all five key PlayStation artifacts, but your search doesn't end there. Can you track down every artifact? No. Well, either way, D-Kitty, Grems, Combo Hugs, Paradox, and Kata. Welcome to the Pee Pee Poo Poo Squad. It's a working title, I'll change it later. They can do that without our consent? Cool. Well, they're going to they're gonna have quite a surprise waiting for them in their inbox. PS5 is a thick boy. It's true. PS5 is actually a disembodied Seto Kaiba. Let's try and do these, uh, some, some of these speed runs. First we'll just do the course clears and then we'll do the transformation stages. You like how thickums it is? It's, it's got a pretty big caboose. To be honest with you. I think spinning actually slows me down, so I, I guess I won't do that. Cable modem. <laughs> yeah, it was a cable modem hole. Does the PlayStation 5 have a cable modem hole? I haven't tried playing it wired, so... I don't know about all that. Yeah, that's cool. And I don't want to jinx it, but it's looking pretty good. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Under a minute. Slytherin loves Kaiba. Shocking to nobody. Oh, we've already got my best times up there. I guess it, it already remembered. But I'll still go through them. Didn't realize it was going to remember those on a fresh save file. I believe there's an in-game trophy for having a combined time of under seven minutes, I think it was. This is very Mario alternating platform on a timer. One hundo. I forget if there's like a button, like a roll or something that you can use to speed up the time. I genuinely don't remember. They ripped off Galaxy. <laughs> oh man, they're trying. Like I said, Nintendo is basically the Simpsons of video games. They've done everything. Damn, under 50 seconds even. I don't think that was my best score, but... So, you know, overall, how did you guys, uh... How did you guys feel about this game? Did I flat this already? I did. I did flat this already. I'm just giving out facts. Handing out some infos, maybe an opinion or two. I was looking at the chat. I'm anti nostalgic, so I'm only okay with it. You're only okay with it? That's fine. That's, 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 that's a neat little experience. I mean, it's only about two and a half hours long, so it doesn't. It's not intrusive or anything. It's funny, can't wait for my RE8 stream, so that's gonna be tight. Uh, 
I don't know when that's gonna happen. I don't own the game yet. And initially I wasn't really interested in uh, streaming it, but... I've been told by, uh, by people that I trust and vaguely tolerate that it's, uh, it's a really good game. So uh, I've gotta, gotta do that now. You gush about new Pokemon? Yeah, you're really enjoying uh, Sword and Shield. I still have to do the second DLC for it. I haven't, I haven't finished it. Welcome back, Neon Doll. How is the shower? You don't have to give me any details. You know, out of 10. How was it out of 10? New Pokemon Snap? Oh, my bad. I've only played a little bit of that. But it was okay. I've got a lot going on, man. There's a lot happening right now. I've been having a pretty good time with what I did play of it. I got as far as the jungle. Played some jungle. Looked at some of the Pokemon thinking like, how the hell am I going to get a decent shot of that? That doesn't seem real. But I know that you have to like level up your research or something and then Pokemon become more comfortable. Pokemon become more comfortable with you. You have too many games. Dude, it's, it's a problem. My backlog is suicidally large at this point. Uh, I don't even know what to do. I, d I really don't. It's, it's kind of like stressing me out that it exists in the state that it does. I just didn't know what to do there. I was afraid. Is it safe? Barely. Flexed on them, haters. Remember when people used to say that? Like anyone who didn't like their video was just a hater? Okay, what did the chat have to say here? I love that they add and rearrange things when you level up the levels. Can't wait for that new Fumito Ueda game if it ever comes out. Um, that's the, uh, that's the creator of, uh, The Last Guardian and, uh, and Shadow of the Colossus, right? Do I have the right guy? Because if he's making another game, yeah, I'm down. Down with it. Time to get back on that Minecraft grind? Alright, good luck. Just stop caring about getting on top of these things. I care because I want to play them. <laughs> eh. All the TikTok kids think they have haters? Oh, that's fun. You tell Ryan that someone is, uh, someone is almost as old as he is in chat. Yeah, let him know. So that was all four of those, right? Now we got to do the, uh, we got to do the transformation stage. I bought all the SMT games on, on the 3DS. Like all of them. Like Soul Hackers, uh, some other shit, one and two, fuck. So for this, for these ones, you have to lightly pr tap the button, the trigger. I'm always bad at those. Yeah, Junko Enoshima is my uh, my avatar on PlayStation for people who aren't my friend. I think, and for people who are my friend, they see uh, Monokuma. I got the Megami t Ten Size. I did. Very proud of it. That's lost time. That could have been worse. That went okay. Still under a minute. You really want to cosplay her? The goddamn wig care sucks. Yeah, she's she's pretty complicated. On 3DS, my icon is a slowpoke. On Switch, it's a me, and I don't even remember what it was on my PlayStation. It was VV for a long time. I remember it being VV. I think all my stuff on the Xbox 360 was dishwasher themed because I love the dishwasher. I love him. water now. Hold on, after the time the time trial. <laughs> Whatever, get 
trama, güey. Redeem control. I mean, you didn't have to. I said the word. If I say the word, I have to drink. But let's make sure to remind me nonetheless. Well, that wasn't bad. There wasn't any electricity or anything. Thank you for redeeming control. As a streamer, what do I, the streamer, get out of channel points? Nothing. The whole point is for you guys to reward yourselves for watching me. You know, and that manifests in various ways, either uh, you know making me do humiliating ta humiliating tasks or saving up for cool uh, community rewards. You know, that's what it is. But yeah, for me, channel points don't do anything. <laughs> it's my job to incentivize you guys to spend them and earn them. Hopping run, go. So you know when. I know there are people who don't like time trials in games, like, oh, now I have to beat the games, but within a certain time limit, that's too stressful. Thank you for the posture reminder, you know? And uh, I'm, I'm on that tip. I feel the same way. So when I played this game, I was, uh, I was delightfully surprised that the time trials are uh, custom. They're not just do the level but faster. They're custom-made little uh, time trial stages. And... I can F with that. I can F with that all day. Time trials give you big big anxiety? Yeah, me too. So the fact that like these are... And these are easy too. They're not the least bit... Oh, no. They're not the least bit difficult. Oh, uh, you see that recovery though? What is this man? What kind of insane pro... Professional Teshinal is he. It's about to rain here. You love it? Awesome. I like the smell of rain. The way the atmosphere gets when it's when it's raining out. It's really nice. Okay. Here comes the best one of them all. Send you guys monsoons? All you have to do is start talking to her about Sasuke or Levi. <laughs> She'll send you all the monsoons you need. <laughs> yeah. It's not so fun when the foot is on the other shoe, is it? Fuck! <laughs> We're gonna be at this one for a while. I just, I just want you guys to know. This one might be the rest of 2021. So you know. Rock. What the fuck is mud? That's right, get out of my face. <laughs> no, no, no! It's wet dirt? What? That doesn't make any sense, you're making that up. Like, you must think I was born yesterday or something. Just say weird stuff on the stream, like I'm just gonna buy it because you say so. What is dirt? It's, uh... Like Coca-Cola, right? But here's the thing. Coca-Cola's already wet. That's why I don't believe you. Listen to my elders. <laughs> I guess I should while I still have them, huh? The person who designed this one should be taken out back and shot. That's, that's a fact. It was all fun and games until this. No? Just realized it didn't have guardrails. How did we do? Worse, but still acceptable. Woot. Alright, and uh, so that was basically Astro's Playroom. I'm going to end the stream really quickly and bring it back uh, with the 100% completed file. We're going to look around in the Nintendo Labo, the PlayStation Labo room. And uh, that's, that's going to be, that's pretty much going to be the stream, I think. So just uh, give me one moment, I'll be right back. You're going to make so much fun of me if I fell off that straight away. You, you would have been justified. It would have been fair. All right, be right back. <laughs> 